we'll explain more about our our, our physical R and D process on the car. But it's, this is very different from, um, let's say, a coilover company that's going to take like a, sh a shock absorber from a manufacturer and then just make sure it fits and change the spring rates and then call it a day. Like the 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 level of detail that we have to go into is like is very very different. But I'll probably save that for um for the the video, right? Yeah. So. <clears throat> So look forward to the YouTube video on the R&D process of this NA Miata. One part that we covered in that video that I'm still like really intrigued about is actually the motion ratio. So as part of the R&D process for every car, we measure the motion ratio of each uh, each individual wheel. So how did that end up? Um, I'm asking because I still don't quite understand it. <laughs> um, well, um, yeah, in a nutshell, the motion ratio is how much how how much the shock is moving relative to um, the wheel and tire, and that's really important because um, a spring like okay let's say there's a car with a strut where the wheel is very close to um, uh, the mounting point is very close to the wheel and so that the wheel and tire goes up just as just about as fast as the as the shock absorber itself that that car essentially is going to need a much lower spring rate than a car with a higher motion ratio such as the Miata. Um, so I'm kind of stumbling a bit cause I know we've talked about this quite a bit, so I'm trying to figure out how much detail to go into it. But, uh, but in a nutshell, this car has a very high motion ratio. So what that meant was we were putting pretty high numeric, you know, uh, pretty high spring rates numerically on onto this car. So, um, so, uh, so, um, just recap real quick. So I understand really high motion ratio. Like the, the, the ratio is, uh, there's a lot of leverage. So the okay, actual so, number is, is lower. So um does the wheel how does the wheel move in relation to the shock so on this car it's um the motion the the motion ratio is um numerically low so what that means is that um on this car if, if the wheel goes up and down let's say um let's say 10 10 inches or sorry 10 centimeters then the shock might move something like five or six um um centimeters instead so the wheel moves more than the shock wheel. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah. And then that means this thing will need to run a higher spring rate. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Why is that? I don't. I, why? Because um, because since that since that spring doesn't need to move as much as as the wheel, we basically have a leverage effect on the spring and shock. So if you have if if you have a given bump, it's going to compress the spring easier than if you had the spring right at the wheel. Does that make sense? Okay. So what is an example? of a car with a numerically high motion ratio so that the shock absorber is moving at a greater rate than the wheel. What's an example of that? Um, shock absorber is not going to move faster than the wheel, but like really, really close to it. So uh, FRS is going to be around, gosh, trying to, it's been a little while since we looked at numbers, but it's going to be in like the, the, high, the high, high 90s. So that shock is going to move very close to the speed of the wheel and tire. Mm. So that, that means our entire valving profile is actually different because the the speed in which that shock is moving is going to be literally faster than this shock going over the same bumps. So we have to make a different shape to the curve and have different um, values to get the car to handle the same way. Yeah, I know I've heard you on sales calls before where you've had to explain to people like, hey, 12K on your car is not going to be the <laughs> same as like 12K on your friend's car. You guys can't just like trade springs if you feel like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's always tough because people, you know, people, uh, they see that number and they kind of they kind of fix it, fixate on it. And, you know, it makes sense. I understand why. So it's just a matter of education at that point. 